Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error within your Windows computer. This is Windows is setting up the class configuration for this device. So if you're going underneath the properties of whatever drive that you're having the issue with, there's a good chance that there's some conflicts going on with your network. So we're going to be able to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle here, and we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start by left-clicking on the Start button one time to launch the Start menu. Type in Network. One of the best matches should come back with Network Status. Just want to left-click on that one time. There's different ways to get to this part of the user interface that we're getting to, but this is just the way that I find to be pretty straightforward. You can also just go through Settings and then select Network and Internet. Uh, so once we're underneath status here on the right side, you want to scroll down to you see network reset. Left click on that one time. It's going to say network reset. This will remove then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Left click on the reset now button. It's going to give you one final prompt here. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Left click on yes. So then you should be able to actually schedule your computer to automatically restart within a few minutes. So you're probably going to get a prompt within a minute or two that'll suggest that you should restart your computer pretty quick. And if that still has not resolved the problem, and you can see the prompt has just come up right here. So we're going to just close, but you can see it's going to shut down in five minutes. So if you're still experiencing an issue here, I would suggest if you're using a proxy server, just try turning it off for a moment and just set it back to using automatic settings. If you're using a proxy server, I imagine you guys would know what that is and how you change those settings. So you just would want to go in and change it back to automatic for the time being and see if that will resolve the problem. So we're going to close out of here. We'll suggest restarting your computer and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.